Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. An excavator has a bucket capacity of 2.9 cubic yards. Its operation consists of the cycle, A, excavation time 45 seconds, travel time, which is 2A, of 4 minutes, and dumping time 30 seconds. Assume an overall efficiency factor for the excavator of 90%. The quantity of excavated material 60,000 cubic feet, which is bank measure, measured, uh, you know, where it sits. The material has the following properties, swell of 20%, unit weight of 125 PCF, and water content 35%. The number of days required to complete the job, assuming an 8-hour workday, is most nearly what? So, first thing we need to do is we need to look at all these times and figure out, you know, one cycle is going to be all these times added up. So, let's just figure this out. One cycle is going to be 45 seconds for excavation x oops excavation and 4 minutes which is equal to 240 seconds for travel that includes two ways so you're not going to double those and dumping time is 30 seconds dumping time. So what is that total? That gives me 315 seconds which is also equal to 5.25 minutes for one cycle. Okay, now we got our cycle. Now we can start thinking about time. Um, okay, so let's figure out time. 8 hour work day. So 8 hours is equal to 480 minutes okay so let's go ahead and do some conversion here we got 480 minutes in a day in one day multiply that by one one cycle is 5.25 minutes times that by 2.9 cubic yards is what the bucket capacity is so in one cycle you're only getting that much and what does that equal that gives me 265 cubic yards per day okay so your minutes cancel your cycles cancel and you're left with cubic yard per day of course, we forgot to multiply this by 90% because the excavator efficiency is 90%. So really, this gives me 238.6 cubic yards in a day. That's what that thing can do. Now we need to figure out what our volume of, ex of material, the quantity of excavated material, 60,000 cubic feet bank measure, so we need to figure out what that is um, given these properties of swell factor. So when the excavator dumps the, the soil, it, the soil will swell up. It gets fluffy and it expands. So we need to multiply 60,000. So let's figure out our um, material volume. volume. So we got 60,000 cubic feet times by 1.2 and you're probably wondering why 1.2 because we're increasing by 20 percent we're swelling by 20 percent if you just multiply this by 20 percent 0.2 you'd be reducing this but you're swelling it's increasing 1.2 so that's 72,000 cubic feet or that is also equal to if you did buy that by 27, you'd get 2666.7 cubic yards. A little conversion there. So now all we need to do is divide these two and we'll figure out how many days. So let's take 266.7 cubic yards divided by 238.6 cubic yards in a day. 
and the cubic yards cancel that gives me 11.18 days of course you know that's not you got to think about that 11.18 days really that's uh, you're gonna round up to 12 days because you're not gonna say it takes 11 days you're over 11 days so that's gonna be 12 days of work eight hour work days and the answer is C so I hope that helped you out um, these type of problems are always found on the PE exam where you're dealing with swell factor or shrinkage factor and and uh, moving soil around so Head on over to uh, civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, Frank.